Is self-publishing books not making you the money you expected? Would you like to know how to make money from your book beyond book sales? Well, today I'm going to show you five ways to make more money with your book. So stick around. Hey, Write Writers, Keith Wheeler here. And if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash a little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. You've published a book. Awesome. Congratulations. That's a huge accomplishment and you should be proud. But unfortunately for most of us, publishing just a book or two isn't going to open up the cash flow that we may have originally thought. But that doesn't mean you should just give up or that your book was a waste of your time. There are other ways that you can make money from your book beyond book sales. Number one, make a companion book. Now, if your book is nonfiction, then this may seem like an obvious leap. Just create a workbook based around your already existing content. But what if you write fiction books or children's books? What can you do? Well, for fiction, I've mentioned this in the previous videos, but you can create fan fiction type of journal or workbook. Fans can rewrite scenes, expand on storylines, or even create alternate endings. You can even create a contest and have them submit some of their entries, and winners would get their name listed in your next book. Similarly, for children's books, you can create coloring books based on your current book. Whether they're the same images, just stripped of their color, or it could be completely new images of the characters and different scenes. You too can create a contest and have people submit screenshots of their coloring masterpieces. Number two, create merch. With places like Merch by Amazon, Printful, Redbubble, and places like that, you can create t-shirts, cups, onesies, stickers, and a whole lot more, all geared around your book. You can then sell those products online, whether on your website, a Shopify store, Etsy, whatever. And this helps you turn your book into a brand. Number three, create communities. YouTube channels, Twitch, Facebook groups, even your own paid website. These are all places where you can take an idea like your book and make content. When you reach milestones, you can earn revenue from places like YouTube and Twitch. As for Facebook groups and your website, you can actually make them exclusive pay to enter communities. Number four, create a course, webinar, or coaching. In the environment that we're living in right now, more and more people are consuming their learning online. So why not provide the information they're looking for? Regardless of what type of book you create, there are people out there that would like to know what you know. They'd like to know how you did it. So show them. Number five, speaking gigs and author visits. Like I said, there are people that want to know how to do what you do. Just do a search online for conferences, including online summits that are in your genre. Then reach out and see if they're looking for speakers. As for author visits, even if you don't write children's books, schools love to get visits from authors, regardless of whether they're elementary school, middle school, and even high school. Now, if you don't want to travel, you can do visits via Skype or Zoom. Now, while some author visits or speaking engagements may not pay you at first, getting the experience will help spread the word, which can lead to future paid gigs. Also, you can use videos of you at these author visits and use them on your website as well as on your Author Central page. Bonus tip, with tips three, four, and five, in lieu of getting paid, you can request that the customer or organizer orders copies of your book. This will allow you to both still get paid as well as boost your sales ranking and visibility of your book. Now, I've done quite a few author visits where the organizer bought enough copies of the book for every attendee. Then I would sign them and they would receive them as a gift for showing up. Now, if you're not quite ready for some of those avenues and you just want to stick with selling more books, did you know that it's actually possible to get your book into stores? That's right, physical bookstores. Check out this video right here, and I'll show you how I've gotten my books into over 20 different stores, even in cities and states I've never stepped foot in. Or you can check out this video that YouTube has lined up just for you. I'll catch you in the next video, and remember to write right.